program, it's a very intense program. It's on Thursdays from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. The training takes place. But we have from 5 p.m. we come in and pray. So how many of you know that prayer is the engine to the ministry? So without prayer, ministry will suffer. So we ask each and every one of you who has a desire to be trained in ministry to come and see us. Come and see what we do here on Thursdays from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And I trust that your life will never be the same again. So I take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of you. And your work has just begun. Be encouraged. Know that God has a work for each and every one of you. And God has a purpose for each and every one of you. May God bless you. And may God encourage you. And may you do the will of God. Amen. Amen. This time, praise and glory to God. At this time, we'll call upon Minister Michael Castaneda as he gave us a three minute on what SOV means to him. Let's show some appreciation, please, as we welcome Minister Michael. Praise the Lord, saints. First of all, I want to thank God for this opportunity. Then I want to thank everyone that makes part of this staff, uh, all the doctors, prophets, uh, Dr. Vicky, people in charge of the uh, Treasury Department. I came to SOV, being invited to share a word for the food ministry uh, in the month of, uh, I would say, September, October. Never thinking or, or having a, an idea that I was going to be blessed through SOV this way. I grew up, as many other Hispanic uh, churches or ministers, grew up thinking that having a uh, uh, city license was enough, or that was it. When I came to SOV, I learned that there's a lot more than that. Yeah. A lot more than not, not only God at once, but also the government and the laws required. And that's what I learned here. Yeah. I learned that we all share the same spirit. We all praise the same God. Yeah. And God opened the opportunity for me to be here with you guys. I mean, to me, it's a privilege to be in every class that I was in. Learn from so many people. I learned so many things that I thought I knew that I didn't know. I didn't know. I was wrong. Uh, that book that seems quite big uh, at the end ended up being small. Because there's so many things that you learn and when the class is over you think, uh, what's next? You know? So I thank God for that book. I thank God for the people that had something to do in that book and the people that, that shared. Because even though they were reading up the subjects, they gave what God gave them for us that, 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 in that specific moment. So I thank God for this opportunity. And I thank God because, see, I was, I was one of those that didn't graduate from high school. And being here with the rope and being graduating for God. Tinger here at the SOV, and God has just opened many opportunities for me to uh, become a vital part, I believe, of the school. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. I'm to stand and give you some information or comments on our grading structure. You know, sometimes when you start things and you and you're beginning to grow, every every ministry, every school, uh, every uh, business, every venture starts at one level and then it begins to grow. Yes. And as it grows, things change yes. because as you become wiser, I've been a business person and, and I know that when I was in business, I started one way and then I grew to another level. And so every time you go to a, another level, there's another responsibility. Yes. We're growing here at SOV and we're learning, yeah. and as we grow, we do learn. Mm -hmm. And so in our grading structure, it's going to be taking on different, a different look. We have now uh, a letter grade for our uh, sermons, or for our ministers, or, or your gifts when you're standing and preaching for your three minutes. Mm -hmm. We've uh, 
introduced a letter grade uh, structure. And so I'm, I'm glad about that. And as we are viewing the other pieces that you're turning in for homework, we'll also be affixing letter grades for that as we, as we try and structure a way that we can do that so everybody will know how they're, how they're doing. It's not just turning in the homework and just we have it. So we'll be uh, meeting together. I'll be meeting with our uh, homework coordinator and we'll be coming up with other ways that we're going to be, our grading system will grow as we're growing. Amen? Amen. Amen. And so you pray for us as we're doing this and so that it, I believe that every time you take on a new, a new, uh, and um, I did not know about that. I missed something. I missed the criteria, but it's all good. The Lord has put me in a position where he's teaching me to come up here ill-prepared. And he's teaching me to do that for a reason, because he wants me to be led by the Spirit. Um, a lot of times we prepare for things. We prepare in such an adequate, structured way that our flesh gets in the way. So what the Lord wants to do is rid you from that, um, exclaim you from that, and dismiss you from that, so the power of the Holy Spirit can get the sermon. So um, I'm just going to be led by God right now for the next two and a half minutes and ask him what he wants me to say in Jesus' name. Um, I guess I'll give you a little bit about who I am and my testimony. Um, I've only been a Christian for the last two years. Um, 28 years old. I'm 30 now. I just turned 30. And God turned me around really fast. Wow. Um, I came to Christ because I was messed up inside. I did not love myself. And you know when you don't love yourself, you don't know you don't love yourself. And I was just talking to Sister Pinky this morning. She said, what's your testimony? I said, lack of self-love. I didn't love myself. And it wasn't until I came to Christ when he taught me what love really was. So I just want to encourage you all, if you're searching for anything to validate you, if you're searching for anything to compensate a void, if you're searching for anything that you're trying to fulfill a supernatural void with a natural thing, hmm. you can't do it. So I'm just talking to all the young adults and you have the Spirit of the Lord is telling me young adults, you young people, He loves you, you don't need anything but Him. He wants to complete you and He wants to be your sufficiency. So I encourage all of you young people to know that God loves you more than anybody else can. So even though you might be trying to fulfill something inside, only God can complete and satisfy that particular void. So just focus on him, love on him, and let him lead you. And that's what I was led to say. Hallelujah. and everything. 
and uh, it's a privilege to me. And um, Paul Baldu is God's work my whole life, my entire life. Right. God bless you, everyone. And much, but when I came to SOV, <laughs> all that happened.